every school I'm working in, the first question I'm being asked, do you know what's going on with our children? Nobody is listening. They can't sit in one spot. They can't focus. They get so easily frustrated. They become bored. Everything is boring. Life is boring. We can't teach them. Now, parents who come to me, also concerned. How many of you hear from your child, I am bored, 10 times a day? Raise your hand. How many of you know that your children are capable of doing things, but they have no internal motivation of doing it? Raise your hand. How many of you see your children become frustrated from this little thing as if it's a disaster? Yes. We're all in the same boat. In 10 years, we see a drastic change. So brain is a muscle. We can make it stronger, we can make it weaker. What I'm trying to show you is with all our greatest intention, we are weakening the brains of our children today. And I'm going to show you how. It's an extremely powerful tool that rewires the brains of adults. Now, what about children? who are born and we give them at zero. We introduce them to technology. Now, technology, as I call it, is a free babysitting service. Unfortunately, not free. The price is really heavy and waiting for you right around the corner and we are paying with our children's nervous system, their attention, their ability to delay gratification, their ability of social skills and ability to take frustration. Now, we created this endless fun world for our children, and then there is a work world for our parents. And those two worlds, they just don't intersect. They live in their bubble, we live in our bubble. Now, didn't we grow up not that long ago? Why did we help in the kitchen? Why did we help folding the laundry? Why did we do those things? It's essential part of development. We train our children to function only under fun, fun, fun. Now they come to school, surprise, boring. Boring? I can't function under boring. I was never taught in my life to do anything 